let's show how graphically we can visualize the relationship between any normal distribution we'll use, for example, this, this one, with a mean of 64 and a standard deviation of 2, its relationship to a standard normal. Let's begin by taking every observation in the x distribution and sliding it them over by subtracting each observation by 64 and using these as, as guideposts. Um, let's see what we get. So our distribution should look identical except that it's shifted over to um, a mean of zero. And since we're subtracting every observation by 64, we should get the following. So subtracting every observation by the mean of 64, we end up with this distribution looking ex identical, except that it's, it's moved over. So we've shifted it over 64 units, in this case inches. So how do we get from this distribution, which is really x minus 64, it's still normal as you can see, the shape hasn't changed. How do we get from this distribution to the z? Well, we would have to take every observation and convert it. How do we convert it? Well, how do we get two to be one standard deviation from the mean. Remembering two is the measure of standard deviation. Well then, translating this unit's uh, two inches into one standard deviation is a matter of just dividing it by two to make it one. Four is two standard deviations above the mean. To turn it into two, we would have to divide four by two, and so on. So that's exactly what we do. We take every single observation and we use, we observe these major tick marks as an example, but for every single observation along the continuous number line, we divide now by sigma, in our case, 2. And we get the standard normal curve, just like we intuitively understood that 64 should be zero standard deviations from the mean, 66 is positive one standard deviations from the mean, 62 is um, negative one standard deviations from the mean. We've now mathematically found a way of representing this transformation. This is known as standardizing. And though we can imagine visually what we're doing, transforming any normal distribution into its standard uh, normal equivalent, denoting how many standard deviation each value is from the mean, now you have a mathematical formula to achieve that.